No, it wasn't broken. I actually tried to mentally tele telepathically tell you guys, congratulations, it's Friday, you made it. Didn't think you would, but here we are. We are on the world map. I checked again. I checked we're recording. This is probably Australia, isn't it? How'd your week go? Are you glad you got here? Or were you on vacation and now this is just a sign of you actually realizing that, uh, why? Oh, you can't get the fence open. You're realizing that your vacation's over now. When you go back to work on Monday, it's just like nothing ever happened. That's what I had a, uh, Oh, get back on, get on the road. I had a coworker once, total dick, but I, I would, I would do the same thing in his position where I was in a, uh, I was on vacation. I went to Los Angeles for a wedding for a friend and Wednesday he called my phone. He says like, Hey, how's it going? How was your uh, vacation? I was like, yeah, it's fine. It's great. Having a good time. Well, I'm just calling to let you know it's uh Wednesday and, uh, Vacation's pretty much over, and before you know it, you're going to be back at work, and it's just like nothing ever happened. I'm like, yeah, hey, thanks. Just let you know. All right, goodbye. I mean, type of friends you have. Especially at that time. I was working in a uh, restaurant in a kitchen, and I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but the uh, if you've read Kitchen Confidential, it's a interesting read at least for a time period in uh at least american restaurants i'm sure it was much different anywhere else but i wasn't in some big fancy restaurant or anything it was just a cafe but there definitely was the same types you would have seen in like big chain restaurants or what he talks about in that book as far as i know no one was snorting cocaine in the back but let's see what this is whoa Brad shop. I don't like that. We list last. We got bad quality. If I go this way, is it bad quality? Okay, no. Thank you. But there were egos, dicks, vortex diesel. This. I feel like this should tell me something, but it doesn't I mean these are all leaders. Like per leader, it's, is that an Aldi? You had the. Butting heads, people yelling at each other. One guy caused another guy to break down in tears, and I was on the line next to him. Charcoal chicken. I don't know if that's... Well, artwork at work, Australia, that helps me. But this is a very big goddamn country. Continent, even. And I don't think I'm going to find any more specific information until I actually see Busby. Stay safe and play nice this autumn. Yeah, I'm not going to get a town or anything here until I actually see a road sign, and I don't know if I'm going to... Was there anything else to talk, like, to mention? it? Well, that guy, the guy, FTP, the old temple pilots. Uh, there was yelling, guys would go downstairs in the basement, and, uh, Pour a beer into a sadly air. No, that doesn't help me. You would pour beer into a like empty yogurt cup that or yogurt container was a pint one that we would put water in and drink it on the line. And he would uh fill beer in there, put the lid on it, and drink it out with a straw. And that's how he went through the day. He would also, when work was done, take that same cup with him when we left work. He would meet us at a bar, but Apparently, I was real close. He'd meet us at a bar. But instead of beer, he would either top off the beer in there with some vodka or just go straight up vodka and ice. Some dedication. I had to applaud that. Where is this? It's Europe again. These I've never seen multiple roundabouts. This is crazy. Like, is this a road? What's a road? What's not? All right. I feel like I should know where we are. Is this England? Need some road signs here. This this may help me. Although, 
Uh, it's got telephone number. Nope, doesn't help me. All right. I've worked a few restaurant jobs, and there is some. No, this is probably France, I think. Is that what horse is? I think it's a horse trail. This potentially is France. See, so yeah, I worked on a cruise boat. And it, it's not like one of those massive ones that you see on the ocean. Like, although I never actually saw one until like I went, I think it was Puerto Rico at the time and somewhere docked in there. I had no idea how insanely, disgustingly big those things are. This is a, I'm going to just say we're Orléans just cause. This very well could be Paris, one of the suburbs. But. I'm not finding anything that's going to help me. These are like super side roads. And I am just lost. Or maybe this is Bordeaux. Plenty of Peugeots. This is the town center. City center. Is that an Aldi? I was going to say that's a real tiny grocery store, but it's, but it's not. All right, where is this? Um, no, that doesn't help me. Am I going to say this is Paris? Maisons Lafitte. Oh, this doesn't help me. If this turns out to be Paris, I'm going to be miffed. Right, I came, what way did I come? This way? All right. The pharmacy, this is an old gate. But I'm not seeing anything that's going to help me here. I'd be mad if this turns out to be Switzerland or something. Oh, this is... Oh, man. I feel like that's the uh, crest of the city that this is, but I'm never going to know what this is. Like, I feel like, no, these aren't, like, the main av thoroughfares of Paris. I mean, it very well could be. I've never been to Paris, so I don't know. Is this the train? Give me. Have I seen what this is and I've just not known it? Oh, wait. I mean, that says .fr, so I know I'm in the right place. Country-wise. I'm just hoping this turns out to be Orléans. We got 10 seconds. I don't think we're going to find... This is... Yeah, Audition Center. What's this for? Maybe I want to go here. Uh, was it a area around Paris? Four stars. Something's happening over there. Alright. What do I instantly think this is? Very arid part of South. So they're doing controlled burns on a farm. So potentially this is something that happens a lot here. I see this person on the road. This may tell me a few things. What's up, buddy? You got your walking stick? Tie your shoes. So, this could be Mexico, South America. Uh, let's see. Can I get over there? No. You blurred it out, you mother... I can't make that out anyway. It doesn't matter. Why do they need to blur that out? I don't know what resolution these have to get before we actually can see them. This is 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 doo doo. No, that's a garbage bag. I wonder how long it takes till we actually get optical resolution. What do they say? Like human eyes can see up to like eight thousand p. That doesn't help me. This could be Mexico, though. I think I might say that. 
And, it, ooh, suddenly we're on a highway. Let's see. Yep, all right, so this is Mexico 90. Like, what happened? Because that's one thing that, um, 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 God, why can't I think right now? That's what a lot of TV things are looking for the next gimmick when it comes to getting people to want to buy TVs. They did it with 3D. I actually did it with uh, high definition first. Everybody got that because it was a market improvement. And they're like, okay, what can we do next to get people interested? I know. Let's try uh, 3D. And that kind of worked. But didn't have the same, like, market improvement that having a uh, high-definition TV did. Because everyone's got to have the little glasses for any effect. And sometimes those need to be, like, polarized and have batteries in them. It was a hassle. And they're like, okay, that really didn't take off. Uh, what's next? What's next? Um, oh, okay, we'll do the curved TV. Just for, like, better... Um, view from sitting in the center of it, and no, it, it it that's okay. Here we go, Lapai Dad, Abasolo. Let's look for Abasolo now because we got Pi Dad here, but Abasolo is closer. There's Abasolo. Okay, ten miles to Abasolo, and we're heading this direction. So I think it was ten miles to Abasolo. So I think it was still the 90, so I'm going to say, I'm going to click there. I think it might be that, because it was in the middle of nowhere. And once they actually finally make enough of a market improvement, well, actually, I think the next thing they're doing are like those super slim TVs that you can just throw on a wall and roll it up and shit. I mean, technology's cool looking, doing that stuff, but I don't know if it's going to hold up. Oh, I was really close. I'm going to give myself five stars. And yeah, that's kind of cool, being able to being able to have a super thin thing on your uh, wall and then peel it off and roll it up, put it in a drawer, but I don't know if that's like a big selling point, but I'm sure the next thing is going to be like photo realistic. I mean, that's going to be a way, ways away. Granted, there's the progress of technology is exponential at this point, and maybe instead of 10 years, it'll be like five to get this thing. But what are you going to, what, what's going to be after that? They, it's actually going to be like that PlayStation 9 ad that they put out when the PS2 came out, where it's just like, Inhale these fumes and go on a psychedelic trip, but it's a video game. That's weird. If, like, the next thing is just going to be, like, a drug that you buy. I mean, isn't that kind of what taking mushrooms would be like? You just salute, or acid, take that stuff and hallucinate? Granted, you don't have any control over it like you would in a video game, but who's to say, uh... That narrative-driven <laughs> stories. I mean, you just sit there and kind of watch it. There's a little bit of interactivity with it, but maybe that's the next thing. I don't know. I just had this thought now. I think that's kind of crazy. This is a shipping thing. We're next to the ocean. It's a lot of ferry lines here. I'm going to, like... Hopefully get some more information. I'm just it just said Barcelona on there, so I'm assuming that it's actually we're in Barcelona, but these are just side streets. I'm not finding a highway. This potentially could be one if it takes whoa, what was that? Weird rotation. Get me over there. Thank you. Okay, that doesn't help. Well, I want to go to Barcelona in ground view, so I'm gonna go over here. Like, at, at a certain point, TVs just aren't going to work. You're going to want the next thing. And is, is it really going to be VR, where you actually put a headset on there? Or is it going to stick with augmented? Because, yeah, they're doing a big thing now with VR, but 
also when you uh, do it, you're just putting on a VR helmet. You're 100% isolated from anything that's happening around you. So, hey, the door knocks or someone else is in the house and you're playing a game looking like a fucking idiot going, whoa, whoa, just like walking around looking like a fool. It's a very isolating experience unless you actually get another person, like a two-player VR thing, but that's going to be expensive. It's going to be a long time before they uh, make the price of that thing actually affordable. Granted, they just put a new version of the Oculus. It's more of a luxury version of the luxury version, which is like 1200 bucks, 800 bucks. I forget exactly how much it is, but at the, at the rate it's going at, even with... Even if everybody actually buys it, which we're really not doing now, it's not taking off like I think everybody was hoping it would. You need to find one of two things for it, which is which is the catch like the catch twenty two with it, which I think is actually how that saying is done. You need a great game for everyone to be want to play VR. Well, the VR has got to be good enough for someone to want to put a game on there. Well, I'm not going to put a game on there until the VR is great. Well, if the VR is not great, I'm not going to bother putting my game on there. So it just Kind of just screws itself over the catch-22. I guess that's what it means. Did I actually click? I did. Okay, thank you. But I, I, I'd like to see that. Well, we're all the way out here, huh? Okay. I'd like to, see, I'd like to actually be alive for when that happens because I think it's going to be amazing. Like, Evo has that uh, VR. We put a couple of. VR games out, like, videos out there months ago. There was a racing one, and a, uh... What was it? Robo Recall? Granted, I didn't have that immersion that I was hoping to get, because it was an earlier version of the Oculus, I believe, and it had a really bad screen door effect on it. So, it didn't... Like, I was distracted by that. I'm sure if I did it at a different time, or the whatever I was playing was super immersive it would have been a different story granted it also when we were playing uh robo recall i felt a little bit more uh engaged involved in it because when i saw my hands i looking down hey that's where my hand should be and my brain was a little bit more fooled i guess you could say and uh got way more into it but when the day comes that vr becomes like the standard what kind of pine tree is this? That's a super old pine tree, it seems like. Um, now, this is either Australia, New Zealand, or England, and I am concerned. I have not seen any information on anything yet to help me narrow it down. Because these cars are all driving on the British side of the road. See that guy's got a steering wheel there. Although that feels like it's that's feels like it's a hundred percent Australian thing. But maybe it's not gonna end up being VR. Maybe it's gonna be uh that augmented reality where it just incorporates say for example, it incorporates the living room you're sitting in, or the computer room you're sitting down watching this in, whatever you're doing. Where you don't feel disengaged, where you're more aware of your surroundings. Other people can potentially take part. Is this going to tell me anything? Just a give way sign. Um, no, nope, you're jumping right over there. Can I get Hunt Road? Not seeing anything, and I'm getting a bit concerned. I need some highway markage here. I mean, I'm just going to put Australia... For now, and then we'll go from there. Augmented reality potentially could be cheaper, but actually programming stuff could be way harder. Just because you gotta build in the AI to be like, all right, you see, you look for a coffee table. All right, the coffee table is gonna be the center of the room. This is how we're gonna build the game around this. You gotta be able to tell the oh, this may be 100% everything I need. Tell the game to realize that okay. What's a coffee table? How do you explain a coffee table to a computer that has zero idea what that means? And there's a lot more like stuff I don't understand. I'll never understand. That's completely 
alien alien language to me is computer programming. This looks nice. I really hope I get Australia right. I did see a road sign here potentially. Traffic management. Oh shit. I feel I've I'm confident this is Australia. I really hope so because you got a decent score going into the last round here and I don't want to lose it. One second. Come on, please. Okay. That's the first time I hadn't um gotten a New Zealand guess right and that also ended up not getting us the 20,000. It's a damn shame. But eh. That's my that's my bad. I gotta be able to figure out the difference between New Zealand and Australia. That's I, mean, I got close, but that's a lot of point difference between the two. But whatever. That's gonna do it for this week in GeoGuessr. Like, thank you all for watching. If you have any more thoughts or ideas about that 3D augmented reality future that I somehow found my way into babbling on about, uh, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, check out the other stuff we got going on the channel. Still doing Uncharted. That'll be coming back next week, hopefully, if we can actually get the schedules to match up. If not, I'll do something else. Uh, God of War was only two days this week because shit happened on Monday, so I wasn't able to stream. But coming back next week, more GeoGuessr, and hopefully more you. But until then, thank you all for watching. Have a good one. We'll see you next time.